Life is Beautiful follows Guido Orifice, a vibrant Jewish Italian, through his life during World War II after meeting Dora, the love of his life, starting a family, and ultimately being sent to a concentration camp. Despite the dire circumstances, Guido displays remarkable bravery and spirit, infusing optimism and hope into his young son, Joshua. Interestingly, when Guido and Joshua are taken away on a train to the camp, Dora, upon discovering their fate, insists on joining them without any coercion. All right. okay. While there is room for debate regarding her reasoning, it got me wondering how their journey might have been different had she not made that choice. In other words, Freddie, what if Dora never got on the train? Mm. Could Guido have managed an escape? Would their chances of survival have altered in any way? Could Dora have offered some help from the outside? We've this, got 10 minutes. I can't believe I this didn't even cross my mind. It's just the, it seems like the the perfect change. Alternative. <laughs> well, it's just, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. I figured we'd start with question number one. The consequences of never having Dora at the camp would have impacted the characters in many ways. And I think it's first worth asking, would it have altered their chances of survival mm -hmm. at all? Okay. So the first thing that comes to mind is Guido wouldn't have taken those ridiculous risks to try and cheer Dora up with mm -hmm. the gramophone and the speaking on mm -hmm. the tower, which could very easily have got him killed. Yes. So immediately there, I'm thinking he stands a better chance of being or of staying alive. Well, I mean, he he wouldn't have died in that way, would he? No, no. He, would, he died because he went to find her. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So you you've immediately got that. Um, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, if Dora doesn't get on the train, they all live. They all live. Oh no, I didn't even think of that. I did not die. Oh no, well, there goes my whole segment. Thanks so much for listening, guys. We're gonna do it anyway, we're gonna power on through. Yeah, of course, That's... we've we've established that. What if maybe, did, maybe, what Guido, if Dora... maybe Guido fell in love with another woman? <laughs> <laughs> you have to see it. What if Dora never got on the train? Everyone survives. Um, Guido would have had more attention to focus on Joshua specifically, which mm -hmm. might have helped him stay a little safer. Um, but I do wonder if Guido is obviously his main thing that he brings to this. The thing that makes him special is how he has this optimism, this spirit in the face yeah. of such brutality. Mm. And I do wonder whether we just brush over the importance of that familiarity of knowing that Dora is there with him mm. and whether he would have cracked under that pressure eventually if he didn't have the love of his life nearby. Would that comfort have made him stronger or do you think maybe not? I I, I just don't see that having enough of an effect. I, I think just his whole character has led us to believe he is going to be he never cracks he's going to see this as he's going to make a joke and he's going to see it as glass half full yeah and that's going to be that like he'll never ever 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 change like the scene like I, I don't know if you found this funny but I even though I knew what was happening in the scene you know when he's first carrying the anvil oh yeah and he's like like oh my god I'm just going to let I'm just going to let it go what are they going to do yeah they, yeah they'll shoot you whoa I knew he was yeah. going to do it but I still found it funny um Stuff like that. I, I I feel like he's not having Dora there wouldn't have made the difference for him psychologically. He'd have known what he had to do and he'd have stayed positive. So I, I think I think in answer to question one, mm -hmm. how would it have altered their chance of survival if Dora hadn't have been there? They would have been much more likely to survive the situation. <laughs> he, would, he would have survived. He would absolutely have survived. Well, goodness me. Okay, question two. With no concern for leaving Dora behind in the camp, Guido might have considered an escape attempt. Mm. Do we think that he would have tried this with Joshua in his care? And if so, do you think he would have been successful? What was his opportunities for escape then? Well, he only showed consideration of it once the German riddle guy let him down. Mm. So that's quite late on anyway. But what was his consideration of escape? It, it wasn't, there wasn't anything practical, but it seemed obvious to me that he was mm. thinking, it, it certainly looked like he was thinking yeah. about it to me. In my opinion though, he was thinking of it in a way of, I'm going to, um, whatever happens, I still have to leverage his, the German okay. doctor's yeah. help here. Like his hope stemmed from, 
this guy can help me. He's, you know, when he was trying to get him to help on that final riddle, mm -hmm. he thought he's going to help us make an escape here. And he wasn't. He was just trying to help them with a the riddle. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think there was anything clear cut. There was enough clear evidence for me beyond that, that after that he was thinking, I'm going to make an escape. So do you think, obviously he didn't know the allied forces were on their way? No, he so didn't. So would I've, he have just stayed there? I, I, I don't think we can presume that he'd have gone escape at that point. I don't know if it had been dire enough because bear in mind, he's now in a very comfortable situation in the camp. Yeah. Like he's not moving from that servant situation. So, but Joshua is a but child Joshua that shouldn't be, be alive. Dead. Yeah. Mm. And so, and the longer they're there, the longer they're at risk. So he it's knows where that, that desperation yeah. sets in. But equally, escape attempts, I looked this up to be sure on it, they're, they're very rarely successful from concentration camps. Yeah. Like the likelihood of dying on it is very, very high. And with him having his child, Joshua, with him, I was just thinking like, would he have taken that risk? Yeah, I don't think he would. Well, he was a bit of a... Uh... Say, Maverick, it's Guido. He, if, if, yeah, if anyone would. I mean, would. in the in the in the universe in which this took place mm -hmm. with this character, we've seen him time and time again pull off bold, mm -hmm. cunning moves. Yeah. So, character-wise, maybe you wouldn't put it past him, but it was it'd be a big risk on his kid's life. Yeah. What did he? Uh, if we knew what the time frame was between that last like the serving meal where the yeah. doctor doesn't and the allied the forces are riddle, and then the allied forces if that's a night or if that's like a week i think it's a very a short period i would say he doesn't i don't think he tries to escape you don't think he tries to escape without no. dora being there i think i'm with you on that and I if he does I'm... it's before isn't it it's like when he realizes well, what are we in for here maybe yeah. he finds out his dad got killed uncle uncle was it yes it was when he finds out his uncle dies yeah we, they don't really have any scene showing that yeah so he almost just it's almost like he doesn't think about that in our our viewers experience yeah. maybe yeah. he's focusing on his own task saving his saving his son but maybe they could have added something about him finding about that and thinking okay i know now that the shells all the kids have died right yeah they've killed all the kids joshua is the only kid if they see him they have to protect him but he doesn't even seem to ever consider that. He doesn't. In that situation. No. And he and they don't lend us to believe the reason is Dora. I think if they did, yeah. then we could safely say he would try and make us... He's only saying because of Dora. But they don't lead us to believe it. It's like we're trying to say that's the reason, right? Yeah, I'm... Yeah, yeah. I don't think he would have tried it. And I, I don't know if... If Dora wasn't there... I don't think that Dora was the only reason that he stayed. Yeah, I'm with no. you on that. I don't think that... I think if Dora wasn't there, he wouldn't have tried to pull an escape. He didn't seem to be demonstrating... It's like you just said. He didn't seem to be demonstrating an inclination towards an escape attempt, even with... The, and and it, it didn't seem to be... The things that you would need to be relevant and on the top of his mind when thinking about an escape... Didn't seem to bother no. him. He didn't seem to be bothered that Joshua was the only child on the camp. Which no, would be he the did, thing did not at all. Probably be the thing that triggered it. Um, which but, makes you think, which actually makes it even more, you know, the thing where you said, would he have broken down? Yeah. The fact that that didn't affect him at all. Just <laughs> shows what kind of man this is. probably fine. <laughs> Can we pull up the definition of psychopath? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, the, the one thing I would say is if he is seemingly not considering an escape attempt in the face of this very blatant danger for his child of being the only one left alive mm. could the re the only reason that you can come up with for why he might behave like that is because he knows that an escape attempt with the addition of somehow coordinating it with dora is just not even in the realms of possibility and so he just doesn't even think of it like it's just like there's right, just no okay. point in trying this it's not in his it's, she's i don't even know where she is kept on the mm. like let alone coordinating an escape with her. May, maybe but i still think we're, we're reaching aren't we we're reaching to find i don't think you would have tried to yeah escape. i reckon it's safe to assume that up until i think the point where he would have been considering escape was would have been after the point where things had got better 
Mm-hmm. Like if yeah. they hadn't yeah. have been better and they yeah. did get better for him. He got into a position where we are safer now. As long as Joshua can keep staying quiet, yeah. which we know he's good at, uh, I should, we should be safe in this or we should be safe. We're safer than we were. Yeah. Presumably as well, some kids would eventually show up again and then they'd be knocking about for a week or whatever. I don't know if that would help him. What do you mean kids would show up? Like as in they, they obviously they have new... Uh, prisoners. I'm assuming uh, there's a different yeah, word for it. Turning it up works. every yeah. So there'd be other kids, but let's mm. say that he wouldn't. This leads us to the final question. Okay. With Dora not in the camp, she might have been in a position to help from the outside. Yes, actually. That's How much thought. of a difference do we think she could have made? So one thing that I want to understand: Dora's mother. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, we didn't talk about that at all. Wow. Did she engineer them getting taken off that's oh, what yeah. it seems like oh yeah yeah 100 percent. i was not watching for it she's not a fan of the jewish yeah yeah well she was just straight up nazi indoctrinated wasn't she mm. yeah absolutely. and her, her grandson who she came to see first time seeing and then just the sends him to a concentration camp happy birthday die. you got a nice surprise tomorrow that's dark that, isn't it? Mm, wow. that's pretty fucked up yeah that in is. hindsight so relationship with the mother would be strained yeah after yeah. that situation yeah mother probably has some sort of plan for making it seem like not her and it almost certainly isn't just the mother probably a few of them i mean were they going anyway it might have even been a case of she knew it was going to happen and she couldn't have stopped it the mother because mm-hmm. let's be honest first they First, they were making it clear that he was a Jewish worker and Jew- his shop was Jewish. Then they were only letting him kind of, he wasn't allowed in certain stores. Yeah. And they were clearly berating him more and more and more. I mean, would they have even been able to stop him going anyway? Yeah. At that point, they were probably just saying we're sending all I Jews don't to the think concentration that in, I don't think that Dora would have ever forgiven her mother. I don't think yeah. that, I think that relationship is irreparably damaged so, so after to, that. What, what could Dora do? So here was my thinking was the family tie would be no use for what we've just said. Basically, they're not going to help. And, mm-hmm. and Dora ain't going to want to have anything to do with them. And so the only other option is that she joins the Italian resistance and aids in the alliance... Uh, uh, pushing forwards in their arrival, but realistically, with information and yeah, okay, so inf- yeah, she becomes a spy. Like okay. if she just tells them like where the German, uh, the I guess it's German occupied Italy at this point, where the German stuff is, where the munitions are, where they're like, then like that probably. Which, but could- does she know any of that? Well, I mean, she lives there, so she probably knows some. But they get on a train, don't they? I mean, it's like, yeah, Yeah. maybe for that town, but we don't know how far away they go. Do they go to Auschwitz? Do they go to a cross? Do they go to Germany? It never uh, specifically says, but from my research, the way that the camp is run is very much more like a German camp than an Italian camp. So historically, the camps in Italy were not death camps. And, and, so, and the and guards they, were German. And they and the guards were German. And they treated them way better in the Italian one. And the in, in Life is Beautiful, the concentration camp that they are in is very representative of German camps. So they get some... I don't know the history of how many Italians they excommunicated over to Germany to mm. these death camps. But it's interesting that they did. So if they've taken them, I think Dora can do... Nothing. Nothing. Nothing all about that. She ain't gonna get she could, involved. Uh, what she could do, she could join, as you say, the Italian resistance and then use whatever information she knows as a librarian's wife. F- yes, formally, m- formally engaged to a um, person in the military, but like, she ain't formally, gonna that you know, much. how much she does she know, know right? Much. So she's a, she's a bloody school teacher, right? So she could use whatever information she has, even if it is a bit, it probably is only relevant to that area of Italy. Yeah. How's I've that got gonna... a point that's relevant. Go on. We know that they can't be too far because of the conversation between Guido and Joshua when they got off the train. Okay. If they'd have been on the way to Germany, it would have been days. And Joshua wouldn't have been like, oh, I don't really like trains. 
You know what I mean? Mm. Like if it was days stood up in that cart, that would have been a very different conversation. So then it's so they must it can't have been that long because that that conversation was very like that wasn't very nice. No, it mm. wasn't, was it? It wasn't like we've been on this train for like seven hours, stood up in like a dark, cramped place. But the the obviously not all of the concentration camps if i don't know how many were even in germany obviously auschwitz is in poland then maybe i think even that then, this camp poland was in still, italy i think this camp was in italy so we did a death run camp by germans in italy ran by germans yeah i think so because i think germany occupied some of it i don't know if they owned it but i think there were like germans operating in it during the war yeah right? i imagine operating but italy was on the german side yeah so it's like they wouldn't have needed a massive german presence they yeah they wouldn't have needed a fully german camp, camp. they could have had an italian do camp they border in italy. does italy have a border with germany I don't know it's quite low down germany's a bit more up there we've had this map where are we so we have italia austria just gets in between. I'm guessing that's Germany there. Yeah. Mm. Austria and Switzerland are between. Okay. So Austria. There must be, I think there must have been some camps in Austria. Yeah, you would expect so. So maybe yeah. if they were at the top of Italy. They to told Austria. us where they were at the start of the movie. Do you remember? I don't remember where. In the very opening frame, it I says... I would imagine that it is right, whatever it is. I would imagine that they haven't made some sort of massive geographical mistake. <laughs> You'd have thought so. Well, anyway, what I'm thinking you? is more how far are they from the place where they mm. took the um, Guido and Joshua. Yeah. Well, let's let's come up with a conclusion. What do we think? I think she does absolutely bugger all. If she doesn't go to the camp, she's going to be of no use, and yet everyone would have survived. Everyone survives. Well, you've seen all the evidence to our lovely viewers. What do you reckon? Let us know what you think. If you enjoyed this, we have videos this week on Silence of the Lambs. Life is beautiful, of course and 500 days of 500 summer. days of summer so if you enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe please do check it out thanks so much for listening cheers dave